Okay, in this video, I am going to explain how to use the WordPress SEO plugin. And for the purpose of this training video, we are going to create a blog post that talks about cheese pizza. And I'm going to go through the steps and show you how to optimize this post using the WordPress SEO plugin. So first thing we're going to do, of course, is we're going to go into add new post. And while we're in the screen, we will notice a box below the edit area that says WordPress SEO by Yoast. And the thing that we're going to do is we're going to put in our focus keyword. That's, that's step one, actually, before we even write the post. And you really should have an idea of what keyword you want to target before you write your blog post. So in this particular case, we are going to be talking about cheese pizza. So I'm just going to type that in there and uh, select that. And now it's it's going to go through and it's going to it's actually thinking and finding where in this post that I have used this focus keyword. Of course, it's not going to find anything because we haven't created the content. So what I'm going to call this post is why I love cheese pizza and spell it correctly. Okay, so we have the title, and you can see what happened is once we created the title, it created the URL of this post as well. You know, we have our domain there. This is our blog category because we haven't categorized it yet, so it put it in uncategorized. And then we have the title in there, Why I Love Cheese Pizza. So you can actually edit this URL if you need to, but by default, it's going to grab the title and put it in there. And we're going to leave that as is for now. Okay, so we have our title, and then uh, we just need to write some content about this. So I'm just going to put, uh, let's see, top five reasons why I love cheese pizza are, let's just do that for now. Okay, so I put a title, I put in my content. And we'll notice now when we go back to this box, it's taken the keyword and it's actually analyzed the article to see if it can find that keyword in multiple locations. And I'm going to go through and explain what, what each location means. So the first one here is it did find it in the article heading. So the article heading is actually uh, this here, which uh, is also the page title okay now the next thing here is the page URL and it says no it did not find it so it is in the page URL but the reason it did not find it is because we have not saved this as a draft yet so let's just click save draft so then it can reanalyze the page and you can see that some of those reds we had prior now turn to green so it has found it in the article heading it is founded in the page title. It is also in the page URL, which we have here. It is founded in the content, which we have here, cheese pizza. And it is also founded in the meta description. Now, the meta description is that block of text when you do a Google search. And we'll just do a, a Google search here for cheese pizza. So we have our search result. Everybody's seen this, it's very familiar. Uh, we have a blue hyperlink, there is a URL in green, and then this section here is the meta description. Okay, and I'm actually gonna show you how to use this plugin to set all of those elements and make sure that your Google result looks the way you want it to and is completely optimized. Okay, so let's go back to our edit screen. All right, so by default, it is going to take the page title, Why I Love Cheese Pizza, and uh, this over here is some of the um, uh, description information that is automatically inserted as the name of the website. So we're actually going to change the title and change the meta description. And the great thing about this plugin is it actually gives you a preview of how it would look 
in Google. So again, we have our blue hyperlink, we have our URL in green, and then this would be our meta description. And you can see that since I didn't set a meta description yet, this is blank, the SEO title is blank, what it did is it, it just takes the title and then it takes the first bit of content from the post. So top five reasons why I love cheese pizza, and then you see it there as well. But we want to actually have full control over this. So I'm going to change the title, and you can see as I'm typing, the snippet preview is changing. Okay, so we put that in our title, and it gives us a little guideline here as to how many characters the search engines like, and it will tell us uh, limited to 70, and I currently have 46 left over based on uh, what I've already typed in there, so I'll just add some more in here. Um, So I'll just put that in there. I still have 20 characters left. You want to be as close to the character limit as possible without going over. So I'll just put some more in here. Um, let's just do this here. Cheese piece of rock. Okay, so I'm one character over. So I actually will, let's see here. And get rid of a space there. Whoop. So I'll do that. Okay, so I'm as close as possible to the limit without going over, and that is good. And you'll see up here that the snippet has actually changed. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, have control over the meta description and change what's actually displayed here in the Google result. So let's just type some text in here. You will see again as I start to type out this description, the text up here will change and you will see that it uh, it highlights it bolds the keyword uh, not only in the description but also in the title you see that the keyword is bolded as well and this will also give us a guideline as to what the search engines are looking for so they want it to be limited to a 156 characters I have 94 characters left um, for the purpose of this video I'm not uh, not going to spend too much time figuring out the best uh, description to put in here but uh, you, again, you do want to get as close to the character limit without going over. And you do want to make sure that you have all greens here. Okay, so I've, I've set my title up. I've set my description. Uh, I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to resave this so it can run through the check again. And you'll notice that uh, there's a little grader here called SEO. And um, there's going to be some different colors. There's going to be a gray color of this bubble which means that uh, no SEO has been performed and the post is not optimized. There is a uh, orange, uh, which means you're getting better. There is a yellow, which uh, means you're almost there. And then there is a green, which means the article has been optimized. So we're not there yet because we're yellow. So what we want to do is we want to check the things that we can do to our article to improve it and get us to a green score on this SEO plugin. So I'm just going to hit check. And what it does is it, it brought us back down to this box, but instead of looking at this tab here, it's brought us into the page analysis. And it's going to tell us in detail why we don't have a green yet and the things that we can improve to get us to a green grade, which means that the post is completely optimized. Okay, so the very first one is a, a very simple one. Uh, there are only nine words contained in this article, and this is uh, far too low and should be increased. Search engines like to see about uh, 300 words uh, for an article. Um, that will give you some more weight as to how it uh, ranks in the results. So there's not enough copy in this. So let's actually, uh, let's just grab, um, see if we can grab some copy from this site here, and we'll just paste it in there. 
folks uh, just for the purpose of this video I'm going to just paste in some other content of course this would be original content that you would write so uh, this is not a be best practice of what I just did but uh, just to speed along this training video uh, we're just copying some text and putting it in there okay the second one here is there are no images at all in the page so adding images to your post can actually benefit your search engine rankings so we do want to add some images so what I'm gonna do here is just uh, put the cursor there I'm gonna do add media and uh, have a nice image of a cheese pizza here that I'm going to put in there and before I insert it I'm going to make sure that I adjust some of the information for this image so I want to rename this to cheese pizza uh, I do not want to have a caption on this, but I do want to put some alt text. And for those of you that don't know what alt text is, it is that little bubble of text that appears when you hover over an image online. Okay, and then I am going to put a description in here because a description is going to be read by those search engine spiders to uh, describe what that image is about. So I'm just going to put cheese pizza in there. You can actually be a little bit more detailed with your description, but uh, to speed this along, I'm just going to put cheese pizza in there. Okay, just set up some alignment options, which has no bearing on the search engines. Um, I'm going to uh, put it in full size. And then I'll just resize it after. Okay. Okay, so I've taken care of the two red dots. So let's resave this draft and see if we get a better grade now. So you can see that uh, our SEO grade went from yellow to green. So at this point, this post has been completely, not completely optimized, but it's been optimized to a level that is acceptable by search engines. But we can go a little bit further if we need to. So if we if we check this again, again, it will bring us into the page analysis and it will give us uh, a few more items that are not green that we could work on to actually up the score a little higher. But at this point, uh, like I said, uh, we have reached the, the minimum requirements for this post to be optimized. Now, I hope this is helpful and uh, Remember that um, the key in using this plugin is to get your article to a green bubble. And then if you want to take it a step further after it goes green, you can go through the page analysis and you can work on all of these items that are not green. And all you want to do is after you work on these items, you want to make sure that you save draft and then it will uh, reload your score.